Welcome to All Clear Tube. Uh, this video is about 8 point DFT. It is a frequently asked question in Anna University. And here, the given question is compute the DFT of the sequence x of n equals 6 ones by 8 point DFT method. So, I will be teaching you a method uh, where you first have to find something known as W8, which is the 8 point DFT matrix. And so it is called. So, uh, this consists of several steps the construction of the w8 matrix w8 because uh, it is an 8 into 8 matrix and then it should have like 64 elements so uh, it consists of various steps i'll give i'll tell you all the tricks to construct the matrix first and then we will go on to find the dft so first in this 8 into 8 matrix the first row or the first column must be marked as ones this is the first row one. the first column the second step is that the fifth row and the fifth column of this matrix must be marked by alternative negative and positive ones the first thing is positive in this column so it next must be negative positive similarly for the fifth row as well And the next step is really easy and you have like four quadrants with nine boxes. Just think of this matrix now it's being divided into four uh, quadrants by these alternating ones. And then uh, in, in each of the middle of the nine boxes you have to mark minus one. Minus one, minus one, minus one, and minus one. And now you have to surround all the minus ones uh, that is the center of the nine boxes by diamond shaped J's it should be surrounded by J's in, in a diamond fashion for example J J J J J it's being surrounded by J's in a diamond fashion Now, in each of the diagonals, you have to write 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2. From the, for the left side diagonal, that is from the top left to the bottom right diagonal, you have to mark it with 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2. By root 2 minus j by root 2. And then for the right top to the uh, bottom down, bottom left diagonal, you have to mark it with 1 by root 2 plus j by root 2 diagonal. Like 1 by root 2 plus j by root 2. Now, in each of the remaining boxes, there is a trick. It becomes complex, uh, like you have eight boxes left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then these boxes have to be filled by using a trick. Uh, uh, the trick is to uh, first, this side you write minus plus, and for this side you write minus plus. Similarly, for this side you write minus minus, and this side you write minus minus. So why I mark like this is because, First, you simply write 1 by root 2 and j by root 2 for these two sides by root 2 and j by root 2 and then look at the sign you just made this way. So this way you have minus and plus. So first it's minus and plus. Here it's minus and plus. Here also put 1 by root 2, j by root 2, 1 by root 2, j by root 2 then minus plus minus plus so similarly you have to put 1 by root to j by root to here and then substitute assign them with the appropriate signs so first by root 2 j by root 2 by root 2 j by root 2 so it's minus minus so just write minus minus 
again for same thing you put and note that like the opposite uh, diagonals opposite diagonal uh, leap parallel empty boxes will have the same signs these both will have the same signs and these both will have the same signs so now by root 2 minus j by root 2 and then finally remember the third step third or fourth step i said well like you have to surround the minus ones by diamond shaped j's what you have to do is you have to give like uh, negative markings to some j's as well and then that has a trick for the first like uh, think of it like a quadrant cluster of j's so each quadrant we have a cluster so starting from this quadrant first mark these j's as minus minus and then go down and then for these things like just rotate the like negative signs right side like clockwise so what happens if you rotate these negative signs it goes here minus minus and go right what happens if you rotate this my negative signs it becomes here minus minus and similarly when you rotate it it becomes here minus minus so this is the dft 8 point dft matrix or the w8 matrix which is required to solve this problem so the next step is to get this expression this is the expression which is useful for finding the dft that is the 8 point dft for the given x of n series here the given x of n series is x of n equals 6 ones so you might wonder uh, like in order to find the x of k there are totally eight mat eight numbers elements present here zero to seven it's like how we only have like six ones given in the question so you have to pad it with two extra zeros like this x of n is given this is a w8 matrix i've marked this already now what happens is one 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 like six ones they have given and empty ones you just mark it as zero that's it and now using matrix multiplication you can find x of k easily you simply multiply w8 with x of n and then matrix multiplication will get you x of zero and the corresponding elements for x of k as well and then a j need not be calculated so what you have to do is simply multiply them and then take j as a variable you need not solve them like substitute any values for them so now what you have to do is the last step is after applying this step you will get xk as that is x of 0 you will get 6 after multiplying the values with uh, multiplying w8 and xn values in matrix you will get x0 for this row and then x1 for this row x2 similarly for everything so now the first value for x of 0 will be 6 and then minus 0 0.707 and then minus j it so these are the values obtained that is for like x of 0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and until x, x7 and also notice that you have to put xk values xk matrix values as from 0 to 7 it shouldn't start from x of 1 to x of 8 it should start from 0 to 7 and that is a major uh, important thing that you have to remember and that's how you solve dft thank you for your time